Hey ho everyone, Ginger Gargoyle here. You can hear Petticoat Junction in the background. That's because I happen to have me TV on. It is 5 o'clock in the morning. And, well, this actually comes on at 4.30, but I had it paused while I was trying to do this. This is the second time I'm doing it. I am going to show you how you do not need to spend money on those fancy dies, uh, the, the foil dies, okay? I am simply using regular road cutting dies to do some images, and they come out wonderful. All right, so on here I have an edger, and you can see that it's green already. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out and run this through. This was the last thing I was doing when my computer came up and said, you're full. So. I am going to run. Oh, I lost my other shim. Okay, here we go. Now, what I have, well, I'll show you guys what I've got here in a second. Okay, this is just a box that I get my iced tea packets in. All right, I opened it up, I flattened it out. I use these for making scrapbooks for like wallet size or those, um, um, Oh, 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 oh. Those, um, oh, nope, it says that's too thick with that in there. The, um, oh, what do you call those? The Polaroids, the, the new mini Polaroids that they've got that are self stick. All right, it's the perfect size for those. I want to say it comes out to be like two and a half by three, but uh, two and a half by four, something like that. All right, so I'm rolling this through. All right, and you can see that I'm rolling it kind of slow. I'm thinking A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. And then I'm just going to let it sit. And I like to do that because it holds it in, okay, and it holds it together while it's compacting down. Now this is part three of my series of the gold press and foil machine, but I wanted to show you that you do not have to have the fancy dancy um, die sets that they sell for the gold press and foil machine. All right, so the, the dies that you already own, you can use. You do not need to get the gold press or the gold stamps, the foil stamps, and any that they sell for using with the um, the spellbinders die uh, machine. Any that they sell with using or that they sell that you can use with any of the machines, you can use with the gold press and foil. I think create, uh, not creativations, um, Crafters Companions coming out with one too, so. Okay, here we go. Let's see what I got. All right, the first thing that I did was I took an envelope. And these are small envelopes. You might remember them. I got them from Paper Wishes. These are the three by fives. Um, they come in a package of, I want to say 50, but I'm probably wrong. Okay, these are 3 by 5 ship. They come in a 50 pack. All right. And so I decided I was going to play with these. And originally it was to play with them for making um, Valentine's envelopes. And then I put my shim on the inside because I discovered... With the first one that I did, oh darn, I just dumped all my stuff. The first one that I did, I discovered that it pressed all the way through. All right. Oh, that's not it. That's the second one that I did. Okay. It pressed all the way through. So while I got the very pretty outline on the outside, I also got an emboss on the back, which is pretty because it's kind of like a kiss cut. You know, so that was nice, but it just wasn't what I was looking for, uh, and it's not centered, so, and I got a little bit of a oomph on the outside, 
So I trimmed it down and I put my cardboard shim on the inside and discovered that the cardboard shim still had some glue on it that didn't get cleared off and so it um it stuck pretty bad so but that turned out beautiful on the outside as well that I really liked and then I did a practice one of oh where did I put it things are getting all messed up here see I picked up the wrong piece of cardboard and everything went flying and now I can't find my stuff Oh, my stuff has disappeared. Oh, oh. Okay, there's that negative. Huh, it's not here. Hang on, hang on, I'll find it, I'll find it. I did a practice piece using just a junk piece of scrap and my other edger. And I can't find that one at the moment. If I find it later, I will share it with you. Um, huh. Okay, fine. It's being stubborn. That's okay. I can be just as stubborn. Okay, so I put it on the inside and I put the foil ugly side up. Now, this went through this way. And the reason it went through this way is because that was the way that I did it. So this envelope, okay, I'm going to slide out my shims. Okay, the shims protect it from going all the way through on the back. But it does, I don't know if it's going to show, I don't know if I can get it to show, the embossing on the shim. All right, it does emboss a little more. But let's pull this off. And you can see that it did a beautiful job at putting that angel on the front of this card. All right, so now I can go in and I can color in this angel or I can cut out this angel. All right, and place her on top and those that coloring except for this little muff right here um oh and this one up here it will take and it will show over the edges because remember these are the cutting edges okay so oh this is really warm this is really really warm all right so the other one i did i used this but i did this one this side up. Instead of this side up, I did it this side up. And the reason I did that was because I wanted to see what would happen when I put through the full the full sheet um, of coloring through here it is coloring through on a piece okay so I put it on like this and I put my my stuff on ugly side up okay and then I put my my envelope or my paper on the top closed up put my shims on the outside again okay and this is what I came up with very pretty and this is a beautiful black. Look at that the shimmer and and jazzing up in the the sparkle in that black. Okay, but I was like, oh, cool! It's got these little holes in there, and I thought, well, that's got to be because my shim wasn't thick enough. And when you look at the negative, and this is this is not the negative for that one. This is the negative for the other one. When you look at the negative for this one, all right, you can see that when I 
do the negatives, and that will more than likely be my next one. Okay, you can see this beautiful, almost snowflake pattern in the background, and I couldn't figure it out. I was like, that is so pretty, but I think I need more shims. Then I realized, every place there's metal, it will attach. Okay, well, obviously, not every place has metal. These lines didn't have metal. And the holes that you use for poking through, for getting out the cut parts, they don't have metal either. So that's what all those little star things are on my, on my negative and on my picture. Okay, those are the holes. Those are the holes for poking out. Isn't that cool? I think that's really cool. <coughs> Excuse me. See, and then I can I can line this back up and show you guys. All right, so that's what all those holes are. Is that's just where the punch outs punch out spots were. I, I muted my my television. Okay, so that's it, guys. This is part three. In part four, I'm going to show you guys how you can use the negatives. So I will have some of these already done to show you, and then I will have a bunch where I won't.